Okay, uh, caliber hitters hit it out of the ballpark again. He just sent me um, a link for a video on a news channel. And of course it had a 30 minute commercial, so I had to redo this. And uh, I said before, well, I just, I'm just getting into it now because I had to redo it. It's 11.30 now at night. I made a video this morning about the whole tooth. I guess we'll call it cap gate or uh, porcelain veneer gate or plastic surgery gate. If and uh, you know, if you're still asleep, like Caliber Hitter said, and you haven't figured out what's going on, then then I don't know what's gonna wake wake you up. But the article titled here is "Police Serving Search Warrant the Home of Pro Gun Activist Cokehead," and I'm not sure if we can say his name now, but we're getting close to it. If you haven't gone over the other videos, we're going to um, this black site that he's working out of in Silver Spring, Maryland. Um, this video here he's been saying he well when the whole gun march thing went down one of the former reporters for Infowars who I won't mention his name because I think he's legitimate wanted to do a um, an interview with Cokehead about the gun march and he lied he lied to my buddy and said he was out of the country in, in uh, Spain where they had the Olympics I uh, forgot right now offhand but he said he was in Spain the next day he went on the Alex Jones show or the Ajax Loan show and he did a radio show with Ajax Loans so you know it's funny that he was in Spain one day and Virginia the next but you know he's saying he's on SSDI disability and then he's supposed to leave in the country which you can't do if you're collecting a disability check you can't leave the country and take extended vacations because the government's not going to pay for you to leave the country and take vacations. So uh, we'll watch the video now, and then there's more at the end. So you're going to have to piece this all together, but you you know watch the video with me, and then then we'll go over what's really going on here. It's strange and bizarre. Now, out of the the Investigators want to know if Adam Kokesh broke DC law when he filmed this video of himself loading a shotgun in Freedom Plaza in Northwest. Kokesh released the video July 4th. Oxfy's Lauren DeMarco is live in Herndon, Virginia tonight with the late breaking details. Lauren? Well, Sean, Herndon police working with U.S. Park Police this evening uh, here in this community. It is still an active scene. It's along Winter Haven Place at Snowflake Court, and officials are here to serve a search warrant at the home of Adam Kokish, a political activist who made big headlines on the 4th of July. He planned a gun rights rally and had been encouraging others to join him in a march from Virginia to D.C. with loaded guns. Kokish canceled the rally, and it never took place, but he posted posted a video online which was apparently recorded at Freedom Plaza. The former Marine appears to load red shells into a pump action shotgun, describing himself as part of the final American Revolution. Kokish has a roommate who is on his way back to the house this evening when he saw police had blocked the street off. He says he is a political activist as well and he defends Kokish's actions. The point is we have the rights to bear arms in all states. We shouldn't uh, set standards of laws by imaginary borders, imagining lines called borders. Because in the state of Virginia is an open carry state where you can legally open carry, but in a district of criminals, the only people allowed to walk with firearms are the criminals themselves. Now, D.C. residents can have a rifle or shotgun registered at their home, but there are rules for transporting those firearms. Uh, and police say that Kokish, what he did was illegal. He could face up to five years in federal prison. But again, right now, we're told that police are issuing a search warrant. It's not clear whether they plan to take him into custody or whether they have taken him into custody at this point. That's the latest here in Herndon. Back to you in the studio. Okay, now, I had a question as to where this character lives. He supposedly has uh, a government email, a government federal server email um, in Silver Spring, Maryland. That could be his work address. It's only about an hour away from Herndon. I went on the internet and I looked up Herndon. It's in Virginia. Because I actually want to know where this character lives. That's my question. So, 
here's Herndon, Virginia. Now, they don't tell you this in the video. When you go look up Herndon, guess what part of Virginia it's in? It's in Fairfax, Virginia. Now, who does who does the um, police work for the Bilderberg Group when they come then to town? Well, that's in Ch Chantilly. It's uh, what we call a privatized police department, but it's the Fairfax Police Department. Okay, so here's Chantilly. There's Lee Jackson Memorial Drive, and here is. Herndon. Now, I stayed at a campground because I'm dirt poor when I went to protest Bilderberg. It took me like a half an hour to drive from the campground over to Herndon. But I was actually, there were some really nice things about the campground. And there's a couple there. But look at this. You could practically walk from Herndon over to Chantilly where the Bilderberg meeting is at the, um, the freaking hotel in Fairfax, Virginia, the um, Chantilly Marriott, and here's the airport, like Co Adam Cokehead, he probably sees planes fly over his house and land at the airport, like you could spit on the Dulles Airport where the Bilderberg Group lands to come to Herndon. Now, Caliber Hitters, he speculated on what's going on. At first, we were both kind of, he was speculating that this group of shills are working for the Russians. Now, when Kennedy was assassinated, there was a segment or a branch of the government that was trying to push the the U.S. government to communism, and they did they did it under the suspicions of global government. You can re, uh, watch the video, read the report. There's a wide speculation about if it's true or not. Called report from Iron Mount. It was basically a report that was sequestered under the Kennedy administra administration to see what would happen if the United States went under um, global socialism. Uh, <clears throat> there's some UN uh, uh, drills that Obama has signed and the Disinfo News Network has done some articles to muddy the waters on on Russians doing security work if um, you know if there was some kind of emergency and but it looks like you know they would be working with the UN and the, that's what Ajax Loans has been saying for the last 10 or 15 years that under a national emergency that the Russians would work with UN police forces. That's what everybody's been saying for the last 15 or 20 years. I think this character and Ajax Loans and some of the people affiliated with the Disinfo News Network has some answering to do. I think they're working with a faction of the Central Intelligence Agency and the Russian government under Barry Asterios uh, government leadership. I mean, however you want to word that. It's just so crazy. I mean, yeah, it's scary to talk about. Ajax Loans is almost participating in it. And, and you know, but here's the other half that you're never going to hear about. So, I'm going to um, type type in, we have Herndon, Virginia, which is where Cokehead was arrested. I'm going to type in Marriott Chantilly, Virginia, which is where the Bilderberg meeting is. We're going to get a distance and directions, and I bet it's going to be less than 20 miles, 10 miles. So, 10 miles from, 10 mi I mean, that's just, that's unbelievable that Cokehead lives... 10 miles away from the Chantilly Marriott. Now let's put uh, National Recog Nonsense Office Lee Road, Chantilly, Virginia is also across the street. That's who was really running things, not, not the Catholic Church. That's what you won't hear. Also, 10 miles away. If you were in good shape, you could walk 10 miles. You could ride your bike. I, I rode my bike when I was in better shape, not good shape, 20 miles. So, that's just unbelievable. 
any anybody wants to attach a video, make comments or comment on this, please comment. Please please like this video and please comment.